Yo, I'm back on the Honda again. I'm still dealing with the tune on this car. The first guy I took it to, I did 130 mile an hour pull in fourth gear and it lifted the head and blew coolant all over the place. Amongst other things he did, he melted my bumper on my exhaust and uh, he took out my EVAP solenoid line. He said that it, 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 it wouldn't run right if, if that was on, so I put that back on. I took it to a different tuner who supposedly has tuned these before and knows what he's doing. And he said at nine pounds of boost, he did a couple pulls on it and it was pushing coolant. And he couldn't turn the distributor enough to get the timing at 16 degrees. And I told him it's a D16Y8. It's supposed to be 12 degrees. And he's like, he said, no, it's supposed to be 16. And I'm like, uh, the harmonic balancer mark is 12. And he's like, it's supposed to be 16. So it's pushing coolant. And he wanted me to take the head off and take it to his machinist because he figured the machinist I took it to probably did something wrong and used a belt sander or something and he wanted me to sort things out so I drove the thing for about three four days I did some hard pulls on it wasn't pushing any coolant set my distributor to 16 degrees where he wanted it to went back about four days later and I walked in the lobby and the guy in the lobby looked at me like like I just murdered his pet mascot and started it on fire or something probably because he figured I didn't belong in the lobby because of the cornholio virus or something I don't know they said they'd call me back in three weeks they said I should call him back and I'm like why don't you call me back when you're ready and he says okay I'll call you back when we're ready and he didn't even know my name so yeah, I guess I'm going to sort some things out all right, because I'm taking this to Oklahoma at a place called Humble Performance, and he's done these before. I've seen them on YouTube. He had his own D16 that he messed with enough, so I know he knows what he's doing with these engines. And I'm not messing around with these people in Minnesota. I'm coming to the conclusion that these people don't know what the hell is going on. So... Time for me to get out of state. I didn't get my EVAP line back from the guy at the first place, so I, I had a little silicone coolant hose left over I put on there. Let's see if this guy takes that off. I'm pretty sure it's fine. I mean, there's all kinds of people that run EVAP solenoids on turbocharged cars, and, and it ran fine without turbos, so I don't, I don't understand what this guy was talking about. He was trying to find other things wrong with me too, asking me all kinds of goofy questions like he had problems and he couldn't figure out why and he wanted to make sure I was doing everything right. And there's my nice melted bumper. It was actually dripping down. It was melted so good. He put his oxygen sensor or wideband probe in here and it pushed the exhaust sideways. And it melted my freaking bumper. And it lifted my head and blew coolant all over the place. And supposedly that was the most reputable guy in Minnesota to do tunes. Then the second guy, he's like, yeah, it's got a 1.3 bar cap, so there shouldn't be any coolant coming out of this. I'm like, are you sure it just didn't expand from heating up the engine? He's like, no, it got totally hot, and I did a couple pulls, and it expanded. I put it in a little bottle. He took this top, he, he unplugged this, and and put it in a put it in a little little water bottle and he said yeah it pushed about an eighth of a cup of coolant and at one he said a 1.3 bar cap there shouldn't be anything coming out of here which is totally false i've been i, I emptied this thing out and i've been pounding the heck out of it and yeah it expands about an eighth of a cup and then when it cools down it all gets sucked right back into the radiator and there's like there's nothing in the bottom of this thing. So I've been leaving it empty just to make sure I don't have a problem and I don't. The only real issue I have with this whole car is the fact that the rear main seal is leaking a little bit of oil. And I'm not I'm not I'm not taking care of that. I'm not dealing with it. 
Maybe when I get back, I'll pull the transmission out and put a new rear main seal in it. I'm just going to time this thing back to 12 degrees and bring it there and see what happens. I timed the thing and put my fancy rims and tires on it too. That's not fair. It doesn't look like a sleeper anymore. Yeah, I'm going to have to put my street tires back on it after I get this tuned. Well, that's not going to work. I need to roll my fenders. I just jounce the car and it rubs. It's 4.30 in the morning. There's my setup. Because I have friends. I'm out of here. I'm at Keystone State Park. It's about 6 in the morning. Stayed the night out here. It's a good cheap way to camp out. I don't even think they'll let me in a hotel around here. I'm just going to have a little breakfast this morning. There's only one other tent out here, which is pretty cool. It's nice and quiet. It was a beautiful night. I'm going to go for a little walk this morning. I think there's some, some walking trails around here. There's my campsite right there. Got the Arkansas River out here. It's nothing but big rocks though I can't I can't even walk down there so I'm gonna go find some other place to go I made it it's in here letting him do his thing in there. Sounds like he knows what he's doing. I'm just hanging out in my truck. Being cool. shit it's just Honda land Honda 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 so effing cool I'll try to keep you out of my little video more Honda 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 Jesus wow take a little picture of that look at that 308 that's on pump gas. So yeah, that's cool as hell. Yeah, that's about that's about 60 more horse than the last guy did. That last pull sounded cool as hell, especially when it backfired out of the exhaust. That's what even my guy was saying. I said, the car sounds really good. Twin 5 -oh. Look at that, 405. Nice and smooth. Looks pretty. <laughs> I gave you a little gift. Say cheesy. <laughs> I'm back at the state park again, all is well. I think that's the end of this amazing video. That guy Alex, he's an amazing guy. I'm really glad I took it to him. There was actually two other Hondas in there from Minnesota that were getting tuned to, or getting worked on anyways. So yeah, that's it. I'm gonna head back tomorrow morning and call this all good. Well, I made it home. I tried to get around all the tolls and I went down 169 or rather up 169 and they had some of it closed down and I had to drive down some back hick dirt roads. Jeez, I thought I'd never make it back on it. 
got really dusty. I blew it off a little bit. I still got my EVAP line. So he didn't need to take that off. He took my timing cover off. Oh, he didn't give me my timing cover back. Oh, bastard. He took that off because he, he set my he set my cam timing back to zero. I had it advanced four degrees. He didn't like that idea. Because he said he could get more distributor timing out of it. And um, I told him I advanced it because I wanted a little more bottom end power. And he said he just made up for that in ignition timing. And and banged up my exhaust pipe a little bit, getting it on and off the lift. Other than that, I'm home and it's good. Oh, oh, one more thing. My coolant's still in the same level after all of that. So it didn't push any of that. So this is all good. I'm going to call this an amazing video. Okay, bye.